The Wisdom of Paul Brunton Discovering the Spiritual Quest What is Life's Deepest Purpose? Quest Video Series 1 Video Number 1 Presented by the Paul Brunton Philosophic Foundation There is another kind of exploration than that which traverses deserts, penetrates jungles, climbs mountains, and crosses continents. It seeks out the mysterious hinterlands of the human mind, scales the highest reaches of human consciousness, and then returns to report roots and discoveries, describe the goals to others so that they also may find their way there too, if they wish. Life is our real school, for it provides an opportunity for spiritual discovery, the chance to acquire virtue and discipline evil, to nurture the mind and clarify thoughts. All the experiences which it brings us are meaningful. Let us use our intelligence and learn these meanings. For life is trying to develop that intelligence in us until she can make us aware of the highest meaning of all, the soul the Overself. Regardless of how it is named, we each have a Divine Soul, an Overself or Higher Self, that is with us here and now, waiting to be realized. Direct knowledge of the Divine is possible. Therefore, everyone may find it, if only they will apply the faculties they possess. The great books written by illumined individuals from antiquity till today are our guides. Properly comprehended, this is not a message for the few alone. Its benefits are not for the yogis and saints. It is for all of us, for whoever is willing to be what God intended them to be. The inner meaning of life does not readily reveal itself. It must be searched for. Such a search is the quest. By the quest, I mean the deliberate and conscious dedication to the search for spiritual truth, freedom, or awareness. Why do people seek truth? because they have at last become sensitive enough to respond to the existence of the diviner self within them, the over-self, in which only truth exists. The fact of its existence has pressed them subconsciously from within and finally provoked them into feeling a need to become aware of and cooperate with the over-self. What is the quest but a process of moral re-education and mental self-conquest, a probing for and overcoming of those faults which keep the light out of the mind? A Student Meeting Paul Brunton The main impression of him when I walked in was that he was just a person. He didn't look extraordinary like a king. He was so quiet and gentle, another person who had broken through to the godlike quality that we all have, the radiant soul that we all are. I could sense that he was in this envelope of silence, and I could feel the gentle love and power coming through him. That was my first intuition that this was what self-realization was about. When you see life whole, and therefore see it right, you will understand why Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added unto you. And why, if we are to insist upon any single renovation in human life, it must be our own spiritualization. If we are to put emphasis anywhere, it must be upon the rediscovery of the divine purpose of this earthly life.
This path requires something more than a search for righteousness or peace. It requires us to make ourselves more sensitive to the sorrows and struggles of human beings, ignorance born and karmically earned though they may be, to imbue themselves with a wise, prudent, and balanced compassion. We must advance from an outwardly compulsive goodness to an inwardly natural goodness. Such a way of life, with its chained desires, holy communion, and sensitive compassion, gives everyone a higher stature. It is because we have the over-self ever present within us that we are ever engaged in searching for it. The feeling of its absence from consciousness is what drives us to this search. Through ignorance, we interpret the feeling wrongly and search outside among objects, places, persons, or even ideas. No worldly object, person, or pleasure can ever bestow the satisfaction experienced in uniting with the Overself. Only when you are tired of the frustrations and obstructions, the spites and cruelties which so often mar worldly life, will you feel ready to turn in real earnest to the quest. Only then will its perfect tranquility seem more desirable than the hectic excitement of following desires. You may ask yourself whether you have any competence for such a great task, but this is to forget that you have been led to this point, to the quest, that the same higher self or power which out of its grace did this can lead you still farther. We may come to the need of, as well as the illumination by the Overself, through two very different paths, through joy and sweetness, or through suffering and sadness. There is nothing more important in life than the quest, and the time will come when the student discovers that there is nothing more enjoyable as well. This is inevitable in a quest whose essential nature is one of infinite harmony and unbroken peace. There is a way suited to the particular individuality of each person which will bring out all their spiritual possibilities as no other way can. More about this will follow. Paul Brunton, 1898 to 1981, a best-selling British author of a dozen books, spent much of his early life researching the original sacred teachings of Western and Eastern spiritual traditions. He traveled the world to discover and communicate with Christian, Kabbalistic, Vedantic, Buddhist, Taoist, indigenous, and Sufi masters. Blending the richness of his own spiritual experience and inquiry with these ancient and contemporary teachings, he developed a philosophy and path of practice that suits life in the 21st century, one that expresses the greatest wisdom and love available to humankind. Regardless of how it is named, we each have a divine soul, an over-self or higher self, that is with us here and now waiting to be realized. Paul Brunton's writings are a source of deep spiritual guidance for all those interested in living a divinely inspired life. Anthony Damiani, 1922-1984, was a prominent teacher of Paul Brunton's ideas and founder of the Wisdom's Goldenrod Center for Philosophic Studies. Inspired to penetrate into and understand the depths of traditional wisdom, he taught classes on the major philosophies as well as the teachings of Paul Brunton. His dedicated students compiled the 16 volumes of Paul Brunton's posthumous writings titled The Notebooks of Paul Brunton, available from www.larsonpublications.com. Quotes selected for this video were taken from The Notebooks of Paul Brunton, Volume Number 2, The Quest. When completed, the Paul Brunton Quest Series 1 and 2 will contain the following topics.
Please subscribe to the Paul Brunton Philosophic Foundation channel.